Hi, Spencer here, and today I'm going to talk about how to deal with a market crash. Now, if you've been following the market recently, you have seen that this is one of the sharpest correction in the market. Right in the past six days, we have seen the S and P 500 correct between 10 to 15 percent. Right, and this is you know in in all of history, this is the sharpest correction ever. Right. Perhaps now with more of the trading algorithms, more momentum algorithms, right, it has caused these moves to be a lot sharper. Right. So how are you going to actually deal with such volatility in the market, whether as an investor or a trader? Now I'll say most people probably fall under three main categories. One are investors who are currently vested in the market. Two are investors who are waiting on the sidelines. And the third are the traders, the swing traders, the day traders. So I'm going to go through briefly how as a different type of participant you are going to deal with uh, the market crash. So first, right, as a long-term investor who is vested, right, then uh, that really sucks for you, right, especially if you are heavily invested in stocks. Right, so uh, if you have watched some of my previous videos, right, then you know that I actually recommend uh, diversifying your, your portfolio with different assets such as like bonds and gold, right? Because if you keep everything in stocks, right, even though stock market has gone up for the past 10 years, right, at some point of time it is gonna have a correction, right? So it makes sense for you to diversify, right? So of course if you are currently holding uh, assets, right, and you do have additional cash. Uh, then this might be a good chance for you. Uh, it might provide a chance for you to rebalance your portfolio as well. Okay, so the second class of people who are uh, are those who are waiting at the sidelines, who are not vested, right? Because uh, you know they have been basically what they've been waiting for is a crash like this to load up on your portfolio, right? So my advice for this group of people would be to be careful and don't buy the first dip, right? So. Uh, basically the, the, the common strategy a lot of people what they like to do is to try to pick bottoms in the market right so when they see a 10 you know, percent correction right first thing they do is to want to, to jump in and buy any small dip right, in the market thinking that you know this is it the trend is going to resume right but chances are right 90 percent of the time the first dip right is actually just like a dead cat bounce or you know profit taking by the shots right so what's more likely to happen is that there'll be a second leg down a uh, second leg of selling right so if you are looking to buy our my advice is not to jump in too quickly wait for the the don't buy on the first tip right wait for the first wave of selling and then the second wave of selling to be to be over right so you sort of like wait for the dust to settle before you know you look for the buying opportunities right so don't rush into the market right and the third class of people right which are the traders right this is actually one of the best times to be in the market right i mean because there are going to be a lot of opportunities whether long or short right this kind of unprecedented volatility uh, basically gives you opportunities to trade right so you need to be very clear on what kind of setups you are going to use um, you know make sure you have your stops stop loss in place right? because when for example when this market corrects so sharply Right, there is going to be some sort of mean reversion. Right, so for example, um, you know, I have, as I've been posting a lot, right, in my on my blog on my my Telegram channel, right, um, I was there are ways, right, that you can safely try to pick the bottom, right, using swing trading, right, to catch the the rebound, right, and then also to catch maybe the second wave down, right. So these are more short term swing trading strategies. Uh, that you know that traders uh, like swing traders and day traders can employ okay so the the reason why I bring up these three different classes of people in the market right is because um, if you are going into the market right if you are deciding to take a position it is very important for you to first decide which of these three categories you belong to right so for example a lot of people you know they go into the market as a trader right and then when the position doesn't turn out well right they, you know they say that oh I'm a long-term investor right and then they decide to hold their lo losing position for the long term right so that's a very um, that's not the right way to do it right so you first need to be clear which kind of you know uh, are you going to be a, a investor or trader right uh, you know before you even decide to take a position in the market
right? So these are the ways that you can uh, deal with the market crash, right? Not just to mitigate your risk, right? But at the same time to take advantage of opportunities, right? That such a crash offers uh, in the market, right? So that's how I have for this video. Uh, if you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.